Another aspect of equity and equality are food deserts. Now, food deserts are regions where people have limited access to healthy and affordable food. Rachel Riley reports on where those areas are in Baton Rouge. Traveling miles and miles on foot, searching for the nearest source of relief. Unlike the Sahara Desert, North Baton Rouge residents are not in search of water, but fresh foods. This is their food desert. Basically, for miles away, there were, there were no supermarkets. Like many, Ella Morgan has to catch a ride with friends or family to get her weekly shopping done. A lot of people in the areas don't have transportation, so they either wait for someone that has transportation to take them to stores or some areas there may be some some local transportation. She's lived in Eden Park since she was a little girl. Her father once owned Morgan's Quality Groceries, one of the few stores in the area. He did fresh vegetables and he grew for himself to sell in the store. It was one of the few establishments open to African Americans in 1946. After a while, her father had to close the shop for health and financial reasons. Morgan moved away for a few years, and when she came back, things were not what they used to be. When I left, businesses were uh, in better condition. Uh, people were able to um, just go in their neighborhoods and find stores. Residents that live in the area believe it's been neglected. A lot of blight in the area, homes that are condemned, that need to be torn down. Longtime Southern University faculty member Jennifer Peters says food insecurity is not just affecting households, it's affecting one of Louisiana's largest universities. This big HBCU, that's historically black university system, lies right in the middle of it all. Southern may nurture students' minds, but its location hinders nourishment of their bodies. Our students come here from all parts of the country, and so they do not have the fresh fruit, foods and vegetables that we all need for our bodies. Students without transportation often visit nearby fast food joints. Those who do not have cars, you'll see them walking across Harden and Scenic and that's taking a chance on their lives. Food deserts that exist here in Scotlandville and in other areas are desperate to find ways to access fresh foods. Together, Baton Rouge says it only takes a few stores investing in these communities to get the economy back rolling again. We have to invest in the communities to provide these things where they, people can have a chance of, of having a quality of life that they deserve, that everyone else has. Edgar Cage is a lead member of the community organization Together Baton Rouge, working to bring back the area for years. Perception. It's the wrong perception. People look at the communities I'm talking about, North Baton Rouge, Eden Park, and because they are communities of color, they already think that, nah, too much crime is there. You know, I can't open a store there because I'd get robbed. Edgar saw how big the need for fresh foods were after a partnership with the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank in 2014. A trailer with fresh produce made stops across the food desert. We must have distributed six or 700,000 pounds of food to residents that would have ended up probably in the landfill. Together, Baton Rouge and the city have been working together to bring nearly $2 million to the EBR Healthy Retail Initiative. This initiative offers incentives for stores to move into the area. We've allocated funds to help uh, an investor, a grocer, or somebody who can provide access to fresh, healthy food with some startup costs, some monies to help them uh, get their program started. They're also looking to work with local leaders and try to create specialized bus routes directly to grocery stores. When one community suffers, we all suffer. And we can't turn a blind eye when people are suffering. We have an opportunity to make things better. Reporting, I'm Rachel Riley.